Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to select best hyperplane from a given set of hyperplane in support vector machine with a simple solved numerical example. Just to understand how SVM works, let us assume that we have been given uh, two classes of data. One class is marked with the blue color here, another class is marked with the green color. The aim of SVM is to draw a hyperplane in such a way that the hyperplane classify this example correctly. So let us say that uh, we have drawn this particular green color hyperplane. This particular green color hyperplane will classify this particular examples or the classes of data correctly. At the same time, I have drawn one more hyperplane with red color. That hyperplane also classify this particular data correctly. Now the question in front of us is, should I select this particular green color hyperplane or should I select this particular red color hyperplane? Now to answer this particular question, I have already discussed the theoretical concept. The link for that video is given in the description below as well as in the i button. Now we will take one uh, numerical example to understand which hyperplane should I select so that it will classify this particular data correctly. Let us say that uh, we have been given uh, two variable hyperplane. Uh, the hyperplane equation looks something like this b plus a1x1 plus a2x2. If we have three variable, we will get one more uh, value here that is a3x3. Similarly, if you have one more, we will get a4x4 and so on. Here b is the intercept, a1 is a coefficient of x1, a2 is a coefficient of x2 and so on. Now let us say that we have been given two hyperplanes. That is uh, first hyperplane is 5 plus 2x1 plus uh, 5x2. Second hyperplane is 5 plus 20x1 and 50x2. Now the question here is between these two hyperplanes, which one is the best hyperplane and how to select that particular uh, best hyperplane over here. For that reason, uh, first we need to calculate the distance error. Based on this particular distance error, we need to select one of these particular hyperplanes over here. Now the question is how to calculate that particular distance error. So the distance error function in SVM looks something like this. That is square root of a1 square plus a2 square. In this case, we are not going to consider the intercept. We are going to consider only the coefficients of variables over here. In this case, we have two variables that is x1, x2. a1 is a coefficient of x1. a2 is a coefficient of x2 over here. If you have one more variable, this will become square root of a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square and so on. Now, we will consider the first hyperplane. In this particular first hyperplane, as I said earlier, I should not consider this uh, intercept. I should consider only this particular coefficients of the variables. The coefficient of first variable is 2. Coefficient of second variable is 5. For this particular 2 comma 5, we need to calculate the distance error. So the distance error for the first hyperplane is square root of 2 square plus 5 square, which is equivalent to 5.39. Similarly, for the second hyperplane, I should not consider this intercept. Again, I need to consider only these coefficients of the variable that is 20 and 50 over here. For this 20 and 50, the distance is square root of 20 square plus 50 square, which is equivalent to 53.85 over here. So once you calculate this particular distance error for both the hyperplanes, we need to calculate 2 divided by the length of that particular distance here. Now once you calculate that particular thing, we need to select the hyperplane which will give you the maximum value for this particular 2 divided by the length of that particular w over here. So 2 divided by 5.39 which is equal to 0.37 for the first classifier. For the second classifiers or the hyperplane, 2 divided by length of w is equal to 2 divided by 53.85 which is equal to 0 0.037 here. Now if you compare these two values for the first classifier or the hyperplane, we are getting maximum value for this particular 2 divided by the length of w. So you can say that between these two hyperplanes, the classifier 1 or the hyperplane 1 is the best hyperplane over here. So we need to select this hyperplane and then we need to classify the new examples over here. So in this video, I have discussed how SVM works and how to select the best hyperplane in SVM given a set of hyperplanes over here. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.